So what lights you up about the Peacock and Tiger guest house? Tiger and Peacock. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> what excites me about a Tiger and Peacock guest house is it's a fulfilling of a dream that I've had ever since I was a kid. I've moved around so much in my life and to have a place that feels like a home when I'm in transition has always felt so grounding and so solid to me and the ability to give that to other people and have uh, a landing place, a soft pillow and you know good company and you know warm people to be around, like that's what I want to give. I've gotten that so much in my life and I really want to be able to, to now I can be in a position where I can host that and give that to others. And that feels so good to me. Um, like I'm actually choking up a little bit right now because um, it's a home and it's not just our home. Yeah. For me, I really like the idea of uh, travelers coming through. You know, I, I grew up traveling a lot as a kid and kind of kept to myself and always kind of regretted never reaching out and finding out what the stories were of everybody who was staying in the same, you know, uh, condo complex or whatever it was that I was at. And this way, everybody that comes through the house is our guest and everybody that comes through brings their adventure and their story. And everybody has their, like, like what they're up to. And, like, not only do I get to experience what they're doing, but I get to cheerlead them. You know, I, I get to, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a life coach, so I get to, like, throw in little coaching things here and there. Like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, that sounds great. Like, what about this? Or how are you getting around that thing? And I can, I can help people leave here more inspired than, than when they got here. And we're just going to have a lot of people come through. So okay. I'm also excited. This is the first time I've, I've been self-employed. Uh, this is the first time I've, I've put my energy and my effort into something that would benefit me directly and not um, for someone else or, you know, for the security of a paycheck doing something that I don't love. This is something that I love. This is my home. This is my house. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of friends coming and staying. Yeah, friends, like. I don't know them, but they're, they're going to be my friends and I get to welcome them in um, and keep a, a, a warm and inviting and safe and adventurous space for them to come and enjoy this city that I've fallen in love with. Um, and, and for that to be the way I, I earn my keep in this world, the way I, I feed myself, and the way that I take care of my loved ones and my friends and my family, um, that's such a blessing. Um, and it just kind of fell into our laps. That is beautiful. Now, what do you need to fulfill that vision? Whew. What we need right now to fulfill that vision and actually make that tangible is cash money. That's what it comes down to. We need some funding. We need um, money to put into beds, bunk beds in particular. Um, we need linens. We need... Um, some fix-up things around the house. We have some um, leaky faucets here and there that we need to tighten up and just really make this uh, an amazing presentable um, home for people to come to when they're not at home. And we got a lot of furniture that came with the house, but we still have to pay for that. Um, mm -hmm. That's an upfront cost that, you know, once, once we pay for that, then it's ours. Um, and the place is pretty much furnished as it is, so we, we can open up, but we still have to cover that. Um, financially, this place is going to run itself. Um, we did the math, and if we rent half the rooms half the time, so a quarter of what's, what's possible for us, uh, we pay our rent. You know, um, we've, we've already gotten bookings on Airbnb. We, we've opened up as of August 1st, and people are already signing up for it. Um, and, and so we know it's going to be a popular thing. Uh, we just need something to get it, you know, the initial costs up and running, the initial cost for getting it up and running. Uh, we need those covered. You know, the first couple months rent before we have regular uh, visitors coming and staying here. Uh, like I said, for the furniture, and then for as Charmel was saying, any incidentals um, that pop up because it's a business, so there's going to be some surprises. Um, so for the first three months, we calculated fifteen thousand dollars is what we actually need to cover everything. Um, that's including the rent. That's including the repairs and, and upgrades that we want to do on the property, that includes everything. Utilities. Utilities, um, 
cable and internet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean that'll that'll cover our basics, and then we'll take care of ourselves from there. Um, and anybody who anybody who chips in, you know, we're not just looking walking around with like hat in hand. We're saying anybody that wants to come and stay here with us, uh, chip in now at a discounted rate, and you can book your space for that price later. Pre-booking, pre-booking, pre So uh, you support us, and you get to come and stay for free. Uh, Win-win situation, we think. Yeah. So, and we want you here. We want you yeah. to come and stay and experience this and enjoy it with us. We want to share what we've, what we've been lucky enough to stumble into here. We want to share it with all of you.